heading into the last week of our final presentations. Um, for whatever format your lab instructor has chosen to um, have you hand in your combo work, your combo PDF for presentation, do meet with your group at least once ahead of time and uh, rehearse your presentation. If you are doing it by yourself, bravo. Um, look in the mirror and, and uh, or maybe record yourself, pre present yourself. There is no time limit for how short the presentation is. There is a time limit for how long it goes. If you go longer than 10 minutes, it will be uh, minus a billion points every, 60, every second after 10 minutes. Please don't go over 10 minutes. Make sure you rehearse your stuff to get it. And normally presentations run you know, around five minutes, five, you know, five to seven. Uh, I get them as low as three once in a while. Um, pictures do speak a thousand words. If you feel more comfortable um, letting your pictures do the talking, certainly do that. Uh, remember on your key takeaway page, I don't need for you to do a paper dump. Don't copy and paste your paper onto those slides and put it into nine point text. Uh, we just need key takeaway words or phrases to help trigger whoever's presenting that section. Uh, talk about those takeaways. Will be great. Um, if in another country, if you, I mean, if right now, if you are in another country, not the United States, or you are in another state, not Ohio, or you are in another city that's not Kent, um, we can ship your scarves to you. Uh, I put instructions. Uh, let me share my screen here the lecture section in our course content. I did put up a little out of state scarf pickup instructions. Here's the email address. Uh, you can email Kat or Marguerite, who's gonna get this email. Uh, identify yourself or at least how your scarf was labeled and which section you are in. I mean, do put your full name in there as well and your uh, mailing address, including who you want the scarf to ship to. And then you need to, uh, when you email them, uh, arrange uh, a payment method uh, I'm not sure if they accept Venmo or not, um, but uh, uh, arrange a payment method. It's like $4, and then the, the scarf will be sent out to you. Um, yeah, the scarves are looking great. I think you all, uh, for those of you that did it, will be super happy with it. Um, turn off. Oh, portfolio. Uh, so I was looking for ways to kind of uh, give you guys some more points. Um, Adobe Portfolio is an extremely easy program to use. It's just drag and drop, just like uh, Adobe uh, Spark, the beginning of the semester. If you want a more detailed uh, per, uh, demonstration, if here in the uh, lab folder in the project section for online portfolio, uh, we do have the link here. We do have some templates uh, for how to make a resume if you haven't made your own resume yet. And uh, these are the areas you need to fill out in the portfolio area, and there is actually a little um, Adobe, Adobe made a tutorial here, which you have access to if you have creative, which we all have, we have Creative Cloud. So you can take advantage of that and you can watch their little uh, tutorial, the official tutorial on how to make uh, a portfolio. So you wanna watch that, and if you don't even wanna watch the demo, I think you can probably figure it out. It's just, uh, just a drag and drop. Am I sharing my screen? I am. Yeah, you're gonna go in here and you can make your own, choose a template, make your own portfolio. Um, you have uh, lots of uh, templates to choose from uh, and you're just gonna drag and drop your images. I'm not gonna do a demo here. We have so many um, videos and demonstrations available. Uh, that will be uh, 80 points um, for creating, and the portfolio is going to be, you know, it's, it's always good for you to have something like that. If you did the project by yourself, uh, you'll have the entire portfolio to show your work. Um, uh, you're going to, after you create your portfolio, you'll publish it, and then you'll give me the publication link uh, in Blackboard. Let's see, I'm getting some chat messages. Let's, no, portfolio is not extra credit. Portfolio is going to be part of your grade, but basically it's so easy, it's practically extra credit. Uh, the, oh, oh, the peer review sheet. So. Portfolio is due um, by next, I think it should be uh, the 13th at um, 11 a.m. Really, it's not, it's not really hard. Just upload your, your resume and then just drop a bunch of your images in from your work. And we've already, you know, you, you have a bunch of work that we saved as a PDF. 
uh, should be no problem for you to complete. Yeah. For next week, Monday, are we going to meet for lecture? Because we have a final um, during this class time. No. This is, uh, this is the last class. So I'm going to look at you all. You have a tear coming out. This is the last time you're going to be uh, hearing me do a tech lecture. Um, it certainly won't be the last time you're going to hear me or see me uh, walking around. I'm, I'm the, the short Asian guy walking around the second floor. When we see, see me next semester, feel free to say hi. Um, but yeah, we're not going to, uh, I will see my lab sections uh, once more this week. And then after that, it's going to be done. You're just going to have to finish up your portfolio. And then you are doing your, your work, though, finals week. Let me see if there are any questions. Uh, which assignments do we put in their portfolio? Anything you want. You can put anything in your portfolio you want. Um, the peer review sheet, go ahead and uh, attach that to your paper if you can. Um, if you just want to upload it as a third attachment to your submission, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, you don't have to download Adobe Portfolio. It's just online, just like Adobe Spark. You just go to the link. As long as you have a Creative Cloud and Adobe account, which you all do, um, you just follow the link, and it's a web, it's a web browser-based um, application. Our final is the max size is 20 megabytes. Um, yeah, not 21, not 25. Uh, that's a good point. It has to be 20 megabytes. And so to ensure that on the front page of the course content area, we have um, a link, how to convert, how to make a combo PDF or how to convert to PDF. Pay attention to that. Every single page you make in your final has to go through that process has to go through, you know, where you convert it, you, you have like a master Photoshop or Illustrator page, you're going to save it as a PDF. When you do that, you uncheck preserve editing capabilities, uncheck it. You, after you've already created a PDF and the file's too large and you're wondering why is it 100 megabytes and it's not under 20, it's because one or more of your pages that you converted to a PDF, you did not uncheck that. So you have to go back to the originals. You can't fix the PDF after you've made it, after you've baked the pie or whatever, it's done. You got to go back to the original files and remake each one of the, uh, remake those pages. When you're making your combo PDF, if you go into detail view instead of, um, if you go into detail view instead of thumbnail view. So here's my um, Adobe uh, Acrobat and here's the tools here. And if you go to combine files here and you add a bunch of, um, PDFs, or not scarves, here. you add a bunch of PDFs to the uh, to the combo here. Um, if you if you go right here on your program, you have these three, you have thumbnail view versus detail view. If you click on the detail view here, it shows you each one of your files, and it shows you the file size right here. And if you don't see the file size, you can right click. Uh, yeah, it, it will show you the file size. And so remember, 1,000 kilobytes is one megabyte. Right, so we just need to add up all this and get under 20. So usually what will happen is you'll see everything ranging from like, like in kilobytes, which is less than one megabyte, or around you know, two or three or five megabytes for, for a single page. But then you're going to notice you'll have one or two pages here that says 50 megabytes. And then you, once you figure out which page it is, then you go back to Photoshop or Illustrator. You go back to that page, and then you uh, resave it. You know, so when you're resaving your work in Photoshop, you know, file, save as, you, um, you know, you, you figure out a place to save it. And then um, here you have to uncheck this option right here, preserve editing capabilities. You turn that off. And that's what is creating your file being so large. A compression, make sure your image quality is on high. Output, say color conversion, say no conversion. And it's the same thing we've been doing all semester long. I hope that answers your question. About that, uh, let me go to the chat and see if there's any more concerns. Um, portfolio is the last assignment. Um, you're just going to, when you publish it, you'll get a little publication link. You copy that link and you go back to Blackboard and you paste it in to the homework area, to the submission area. Brett, you have a question? Um, so we're attaching the peer review to the essay or 
just to the combined PDF in general, but should we include ourselves also in the peer review or just our peers? <laughs> yeah, um, peer review yourself, it couldn't hurt. Okay. Um, um, yeah, um, don't attach it to the combo that you're presenting. We, you know, you don't need to scroll into that page when we're all <laughs> looking at the presentation. Put it on your paper. So we don't show our papers during presentation. Uh, you can attach it to the paper, or it can just be like a separate third attachment. Oh, okay, okay, I understand now. Thank you. Okay, so um, Chloe says my project is due today, so peer review sheet will be due. Yep, peer review sheet. Yep. And you know, here's a pro tip: uh, if everybody gets on the same page and gives everybody 100%, everybody gets 100%. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to penalize you for uh, if somebody didn't completely show up at all, but at this point, um, I think all of you should have realized what was happening and had made up for that. Um, but if you guys can point out to if there's something that happened that's just one person was responsible for, um, you can highlight them and they can get more points or less points. Usually everyone gets the same score. 19.2 kilobytes, that's not even, there's a thousand kilobytes Emerson in one megabyte. That's super, super tiny. Um, that may just be the title, may not actually even be any data in there. 19.2 kilobytes. All right, uh, final project is just a link. So, you know, you can be as big as you want. Um, I, I would advise you to put um, these compressed images on your final project so that, I mean, that they were saved correctly, that they aren't too large, so that anyone coming to the, I mean, I think Adobe will actually compress your images for you. So, you know, when you're building it, you can put any images you want into the Adobe site. Again, if you're under 20 megs, it's, it's always better um, for the client, for anyone looking at it. Over 20 megs, people tend to get upset. And uh, when people get irritated or upset, they're like, you know, uh, this person doesn't know how to compress a file. We're not gonna hire them. I don't wanna go through all this every time they send me something. So let's not be that person. Um, did I miss anything else? If we did the project on our own, yeah, if you did the project on your own, I mean, you could do a peer review and review yourself if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, you're not presenting your portfolio. We are presenting this week our final project, but not the portfolio. Um, Brett, do you have a question? Yes, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so confused this morning, but if we all do our peer reviews and then add it to the essay, should we return in the essay? If, uh, can you ask that one more time? So if we add our peer reviews to the essay, uh, should we like, right. can we resubmit the essay or? Oh, has oh, you already submitted on yeah. Blackboard? Yeah, we already submitted. Um, we just kind of forgot about the peer review, unfortunately. Oh, um, um, you guys can email me your, um, so if, <laughs> If you haven't, so there's only really only two of you. There's not a big number out there. So you guys, if you've already, uh, if you can, if it's not too much of an inconvenience, I'd like you to uh, re-upload your, yeah, and this is a good opportunity for you to check to see if your name is on your paper, the file name, that uh, you have a paper and uh, a final combo with the correct names uploaded to Blackboard, and then at that, and then you just upload it again with your peer review, if it's not too much trouble. If that is too much trouble, just go ahead and email me your peer review, since it doesn't, it not, doesn't seem to be that many people. If that's not too much of an inconvenience. Um, for the majority of you, uh, I think everyone gets the same grade. There's always a few out there where there was some issues. Uh, Forgot to make okay. hand on, but re-upload the whole project or just the essay? Uh, the whole project. Okay, thank you. Sure. Um, and should we should we convert our um, Excel to P to a PDF or no? For final for project, final? yeah. Okay. Yeah, just cool. uh, you could you could do that, and if if the formatting looks funny, where part of the table is getting clipped out into another page, just take a screenshot. Like I said in the beginning of lecture, we have uh, covered a great deal of topics. There is, I, I do want you to continue practicing your work. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, Instagram, uh, uh, TikTok, they all have uh, hashtags you can 
enter into into your feed and start challenging yourself. These kids uh, out there, they're they're finding. Um, I mean, your peers are finding lots of interesting things to do with every update. It's very exciting to see them uh, put encapsulate a whole week's worth of material into 60 seconds. Um, just be just be aware that uh, they do skip a lot of steps often, but it'll get you started, uh, get you on that path. Uh, once your membership to Adobe has expired, there are a number of copycat open source uh, versions of Photoshop out there, like one's called GIMP, G-I-M-P for Photoshop. There is, uh, there are different versions of Illustrator out there. A lot of you are, have experienced with um, uh, Can Canvo, I think, uh, is the Illustrator type uh, program out there. That's not free or open source, but there are versions. If you type into Google um, open source Illustrator or open source Photoshop, uh, review or you know go to YouTube and watch some reviews you'll see a lot of different versions out there uh, and Google Docs has Excel, uh, their version of Excel I do encourage you to keep practicing I do encourage you to um, yeah keep your material keep your learning material handy and keep challenging yourself and, uh, and I, I said to the class <clears throat> this wasn't recorded but earlier out there in the future, you know, when you're in a group situation and somebody says, does anybody here know Photoshop? Yeah, that's you. You know, you're going to feel that tingling feeling on the back of your head. That's you. Um, and then also be encouraged. And I said this earlier, you know, when you're looking around and you see uh, you, you're going to be able to identify bad Photoshop work, bad Illustrator work. Now you're going to look around, you can, you can see you know, pixelated text, pixelated pictures, skewed, compressed images. Um, you can do better. When you see something that doesn't look good, that means you can do better. So I encourage you to go out there, help make the world look better. You certainly have the tools now. Uh, keep it up. If you want to create a side hustle and start making a little bit of cash with your designs, uh, go for it. Um, um, be proud of yourself that you have made it uh, through. This is a, a difficult class with a lot of work. I am proud of all of you, and again, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm being astounded. I'm seeing at the, the high level work that I'm seeing, Inclu you know, design work coming out of merchandisers, design work coming out of designers, of course. Uh, it's amazing. You guys should be proud and be happy with what you've done. I think, I think that's it. I think, I think that's it. If you uh, haven't tried Lucci's Pizza across the street from the Fashion Museum, here's a plug for them. They, and you like New York, if you like New York style, they have a vintage stone oven in there. Uh, so if you special order a pizza, it's, it's a great thin crust pizza. Uh, if you haven't had New York style pizza, go ahead and try it. It's in that little plaza next to Chipotle where the FedEx building is. Um, certainly, you know, tell them Dave Hahn sent you. Go ahead and try some. Uh, they have individual slices there for like two, two and a half bucks. Um, certainly good stuff. Uh, yeah, challenge yourself. Go find your old doodles, image trace them, create a t-shirt, um, have fun with tech. I'll see you, I'll see you around if you uh, haven't taken, fat. if I'm teaching fabrics again next semester, um, and you, uh, enjoyed, <laughs> if you enjoyed the class, uh, consider, uh, fabrics with Dave Hahn too. Um, oh yeah, uh, Teacher evals, if you want to uh, go in there and and complain, and if, if there was something horrible about the class that you want to have changed for future generations, go ahead and voice your concern. If you like the class or you uh, have something nice you want to say, I certainly wouldn't mind hearing uh, feedback in one form or, or another um, about the class. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think, you know, I think class is over. Um, if, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can ask that now about anything. If not, uh, I'll see you around. Have a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, uh, whatever, uh, holiday you're celebrating, if any holiday at all, or just spending time with friends, uh, enjoy it, be safe out there. I will see you, uh, on campus next semester, hopefully. Um, enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. I really uh, enjoyed this class and appreciated everything that you did. Great. Thank you. Okay. I'm glad you enjoyed it.
tried I tried thank to make so it as much. Happy as holidays. Possible. Bye, Ella. Thank you. You too. Thank you, Professor. Thank, thank you. you. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great have a great holiday. Thank you. Uh Yanmi, did you have a question? Or Mimi? No? She didn't. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'm going to end the recording. See you around.